I'm going to talk about uh, the general uh, uh, standards uh, trust questions and relate them to elites in Russia rather than to the general public. Um, the, the talk I'm going to make is based on a project on Russian legal culture, uh, where we explore nine different dimensions of the perceptional and attitudinal dimensions of legal culture. Trust is one of them. Um, and I'm going to sort of just explain to you what we are doing uh, in terms of trust. Then I'm going to present our main findings. And if there's enough time, I'm going to show you some tables. Uh, let's see if I can work this out. Uh, no. Oops. No, okay. Uh, so uh, we were not able to ask all the three um, standard questions of trust. We chose two because we were doing in-depth interviews, and in in-depth interviews, there's a limited <coughs> number of questions that can be asked. Um, so we, we used um, two of them, uh, and we asked these questions to 350 Russian elites in four different regions, uh, in four uh, wealthy and four poor areas within those regions, and in Moscow at both national and capital level. Uh, we interviewed elected representatives, government officials, judges, prosecutors, lawyers, uh, police, and university teachers of law. Um, and these interviews were conducted uh, between the end of 2014 and mid-2016. The reason why it took so long was that Moscow turned out to be very difficult in terms of recruiting people, in terms of uh, getting people to uh, take part in the interviews. Um, oops. I'm not very good at this, I think. <laughs> so basically, <clears throat> what we wanted to do uh, with these questions was to understand what uh, elites actually understand by trust and what they mean when they talk about other people. Uh, Russell Harton has criticized this question uh, for its vagueness and lack of definition uh, in um, the ways used amongst the general public. We wanted to see what the elites thought about these issues. We also wanted to try to find out uh, how big the radius of trust uh, of, uh, is when, people talk, well, when the elites talk about most people. Uh, do they talk about their uh, closer circle of people? Do they talk about people more generally? Um, what exactly do they mean by most people? Uh, we also wanted to know if the elites were answering these questions uh, in their capacity as professionals uh, or as ordinary citizens. Um, and we also wanted to know if they would answer them fairly generally or if they would relate them to their own personal experience. Um, Uh, so basically what we found uh, was that trust um, is to some extent linked to performance when elites talk about it, but mostly they use it in fairly general terms. Uh, they talk about the benefits of trust in society, they talk about what the, the result would be if there's no trust, then you would end up with anarchy. Uh, they talked about the um, benefits trust has for the individuals involved, um, lots of various aspects. Uh, they also uh, distinguished between different types of other people. Uh, they talked about um, people more generally. They talked about uh, their personal sphere. Um, they talked about their professional sphere. Uh, and most, more about the professional sphere uh, and personal experience when they were answering the second question than when they were answering the first. Um, they also um, talked about, the, they refused uh, in a way to distinguish between uh, trust and uh, no trust. They talked about different types of trust, uh, that you could uh, trust someone unconditionally, you could trust but verify them, you could be cautious in your trust, uh, you could trust some people and not others, uh, you could um, sort of be very careful with other people, uh, you could sort of um, uh, expose a mix of these sentiments, you uh, could sort of <coughs> say that the question is not relevant. Uh, at least for also, to some extent, quite skeptical to the standard questions of trust. They didn't like the idea of forcing them to choose the either or response. And they said that um, reality is not always black and white. Um, they, some people found the question provocative, uh, others found it unclear. Um, now I'm going to show you some more findings. Uh, we've still got some time. Um, we also found, uh, and that's quite interesting, that there's some differences between wealthy uh, and poor regions in the terms of uh, 
elites in wealthy regions being slightly more trusting of other people than elites in the poor regions. Um, uh, I can explain that later, but I'm not going to get into it now. So if you would like to ask that question during the question run, I'll be happy to answer. Um, we also found a very interesting finding that government officials uh, who do not enjoy uh, much public support in Russia, uh, they're very badly criticized usually. The, the word chinovnik, which refers to government official, uh, is used in an abusive sense if you talk about other people. Uh, but even though uh, such sentiments are prevalent in Russia, uh, when we talk about government officials, the government officials themselves, uh, together with the judges to some extent, uh, exhibited the highest percentage uh, of uh, thinking that other people can actually be trusted. Uh, and furthermore, uh, they exhibited the highest percentage thinking that people are likely to be fair uh, when they deal with you rather than trying to take advantage of you. Uh, so how could you explain that finding? Uh, one uh, explanation might be that the media uh, is very, very negative towards government officials uh, in the Russian Federation, uh, whereas uh, government officials talk about people interacting with them uh, sometimes becoming more positively disposed because they see that they, they can actually make a difference in their lives. A second explanation is that uh, all the elites that we interviewed, and especially the government officials, they have what we call high bargaining strength. Uh, they control resources that are very, very important to ordinary people, and people are willing to go to great lengths to get either what they're entitled to by law or what they would like to get from the officials. Um, so in that sense, they might be on their best behavior when they talk to the government officials, or they might offer um, an incentive to the official to actually comply. So that could translate into uh, pleasant behavior on the part of ordinary uh, people uh, as viewed by the government officials. Um, I think there's not enough time to sort of, uh, present the tables, but if any of you would like to see them um, later on, uh, I'll be happy to show you some. Uh, when I answer, uh, answer your questions. Thank you very much for your attention.